Yes. Um, right. Uh, so there's a, something that we just like to touch into really quickly, uh, which is uh, wall riding. Obviously. Okay. Uh, yeah. And we're working on an update uh, for how we handle uh, wall riding in online games. Uh, and so uh, we will be talking to you more about that as soon as we know something more. It won't be an update five, but soon after that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very hot topic upstairs. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, with all the level designers and, and you guys as well, especially. Yes. It's something that we really want to address that we feel is, uh, is particularly important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For, you know, maintaining that fun experience that mm -hmm. everyone wants to have whilst they're playing online. Yes. But what Alta Silencia did was the checkpoints are actually before and ahead of it. Cool. So what we're looking at here is a dev build. Uh, just mentioning that because dev mm. builds have stuff in it that isn't uh, ready for uh, public uh, consumption. Uh, and it's kind of a, a fun peek behind the curtains. Uh, we might see little inconsistencies in the game that are not exactly what we're expecting to see. Um, but it's a way for us to show you things that are, that are coming soon. Some of the, some of the narrow checkpoints. So this is uh, for series four, uh, which is the update uh, going live uh, Thursday next week. Uh, and in, uh, the, in today's program, we will be looking at a couple of the new features that we're bringing in, uh, including some great changes to photo mode uh, that Matt will be talking us through, and also the festive outfits and new cosmetics that are coming into the game uh, for Christmas. After that, we will give you the uh, results of the Root Blueprint competition uh, that we talked about on our last stream. Super exciting. Yes, uh, play through some of those and, and talk about who won and, and our thinking around that. Uh, after that, uh, we will give you an update on multiplayer, uh, which uh, I know uh, we're working really hard on, a lot of stuff to do there. We'll also talk about the uh, new cars that are being added into the game in Update 4, so really deep dive into those and talk about them, and uh, all the seasonal championships and events that will be available uh, Sounds as good. part of this update. Should we get stuck in, man? Yes, let's absolutely do that. Okay. Okay, so uh, as usual, uh, let's start off by looking uh, at some character cosmetics. <laughs> so, uh, Christmas, of course, so uh, Christmas sweaters, as always, which is great. Yeah, we've got the classic reindeer, uh, cheesy Christmas jumper going on there. I think that jumper should have won an award. <laughs> I mean, that's, that, 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 that's award material right there, right? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's holiday season. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got lots of festive things that Kira has lined up for the uh, festival goers. So, so how players going to unlock this? So this particular item will be in the uh, in the Falls of Fun shop during right. the okay. first week of Series 4. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff. Some of it will be in the shop, some of it will be up for grabs from um, our seasonal championships. Fantastic. Also the boots, uh, the furry boots that yes. she's got on there. The non-branded furry boots. Yeah, right. she, you'll be able to grab those from uh, from team, team Adventure in Series 4 as well. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's uh, swap through here and look at some of the other things that we've got lined up. Um, uh, coming through. Cool. So, uh, so there are boots. Yeah, another couple of boots. Uh, yeah, those are also coming from uh, seasonal championships. That's right. Yeah, and um, the antlers. Uh, the antlers, yes. Uh, the elf hat. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Anything else uh, seasonal? The Santa. Of course. That's that's great. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, and there are there's more stuff. There's um, what's over in noses. Um, yeah, good question. Let's have a look. Yep. Got a reindeer nose to go with, uh, with the antlers there. And th that does... Oh, she's modelling that very nicely yeah. for us. Fantastic. And, and, and that nose is, is a lot of fun if it's, uh, if it's dark. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, right. <laughs> well, it, it glows in the dark, of course, because Rudolph, right? <laughs> I, I have well, no idea how that got through the pitch music, but never mind, it's great. <clears throat> um, down in our outfits section. And two specific Christmas-themed outfits uh, yeah. that are just crazy. Obviously, Elves you can you can combine that with the with the hat we mm -hmm. had on, um, and a Santa outfit as well. Looking good. Yes. Cool. That is fantastic. Okay. Great. I think we're there. Okay, let's try it again. What should we go again? Right. Yes. Right. Where was I? Um, we were talking about uh, photo mode. So photo mode, oh, so right, what the first thing I'll do is open up the effects mode and you'll see a bunch of new features there that weren't there before. So I'm just going to run through them one by one. Mm -hmm. um, so shutter speed was already there. So focus mode, that's actually a returning feature from Forza Motorsports 7. Um, mm -hmm. 
I'm not moving the car, the car's not rolling at the moment, so you won't get the full benefits of this. Um, but what, what does it actually do? Essentially, that it allows you to switch between focusing on the car or the environment when, when the car's right, moving. So, so you, might, you might either have the car fully blurred or the environment fully blurred. Mm. It's a really quick quick toggle um, and an easy way to, um, to actually change between that. Okay. Um, so again, focus, exposure and aperture are the same. New one is bokeh shape or bokeh shape, I'm not quite sure which one. Well, uh, for, for those of us who, who don't know what that means. Yeah, science bit. So um, that refers to um, the depth of field or, or the blur you tend to get through uh, photography. Mm -hmm. um, and the bokeh shape comes from what they call the aperture blades, which go around the lens. So the more, the more blades you get, the more circular you get. You get those little circular blobs, particularly at night. Um, mm -hmm. um, and the less blades you get, the more um, shapes you kind of get. So in the case okay. of this, we have circle which was the standard one but we also have diamond pentagon and hexagon so if i try and show this off it's a little bit bright but it should work so mm -hmm. i'll just focus on this crank the aperture up to about 35. Right. i mean I, I can see what it's doing with the lights in the background though. so yeah it won't be totally obvious when you're actually setting the shot but when you actually go and take Do the, the process picture, yeah. mm. when you actually hit the process um, takes a short while, but you <coughs> should start to see it'll come through from some of, from some of the light sources, particularly like mm -hmm. those little lights in the background mm -hmm. you'll see there when it comes up. There we go. So you can see that they're actually yeah, nice yeah. neat, neat shapes. Yes. So that's one thing. Um, and that, uh, so we've also made some changes to the way that we sample and build those images, right? Yeah, so sampling um, is quite just a, a techie way of saying that um, it takes the picture multiple times mm -hmm. um, and we've always done this so and again you get a lot of benefits from this when the car's traveling at speed so it will it will sample different points in time to mm -hmm. actually get that really nice motion blurs effects and another bits and pieces there so what we were used to is, is the standard sampling mm -hmm. that we've got here but then we also have um, a new one which is quality which and we just added this yes we've just added this one so this is the one where it increases the amount of samples mm -hmm. um, it takes a lot longer so i'm not going to demonstrate this okay. now but um it, it just makes much cleaner, much nicer image. So if you get a shot that you really like, I recommend you go for that one. Okay. Okay. So and so I can also see there are some new options down at the bottom of the screen as well. Yeah. So we keep uh, <coughs> going down. Uh, the couple of these ones have, have existed already. So a new one we've got now is temperature. So oh. temperature or um, white balance, if you're into photography, essentially allows you to um, Ooh, make the shot yeah. cooler. Yes, really make it very wintry. Yeah. Whenever you want to eat, or go all the other way and actually um, warm the image right up. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be used um, great ways of, again, adding, making things feel cold and warm, but also to, to kind of offset. So if you're in a kind of a night environment such mm -hmm. as this, you can actually offset the lighting so it actually makes it um, more correct. Right. Um, and then, so we get down to the exciting ones now. Um, so car lights, um, any guesses what that's going to do? I think it'll probably switch the car lights off. Okay, all right, here we go. Let's see if I'm right. Okay. It's switched the car lights off. <laughs> so, you see the nose. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it doesn't switch the nose off. It doesn't switch, but, but there's there a way is, to deal with that. There's a way to get rid of that, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> um, okay, so that, that's one of the, one of the great things. Um, and just to skip down now, so drivers, well, in the past, uh, you know, when, we, when we, we've had some great community photos, we noticed mm -hmm. there's a lot of times where they've, they've tried to hide the drivers like I'm doing now by mm -hmm. having yes. the camera just... <laughs> Just like there, skillfully so. just hiding them behind there. Well, I'm more, well, that is a really distracting nose. Yes. Anyway. But switch drivers off. There we go. Gone. But so there's now. some restrictions to how we can do this, right? Yeah, so th there is some small restrictions in that the car has to be stationary and all four <coughs> wheels have to be connected to the ground. Right. And it's, it's really just because we don't want the cars to, to look like they're autonomous and I don't think the license. Yes, so, the it, just, uh, really it, so it, it seems like something you, you could use to make some really gorgeous yeah. product pictures. It's great, yeah. It, it's really for those real production mm. shots, particularly when you're trying to show off new liveries that you've mm. created and things right. like that. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what the community comes up with. And we can also get the camera substantially closer to the car, get it higher into yeah. the air as well. There we go. So this is actually wow. a lot closer than we've actually been able to do in the past. Yes, that is much closer. Um, and then we've managed to get it a little bit higher as well. Okay. Yes. So. You can just do a little bit more framing. Yeah. Um, can we see any wildlife or crowds? So on the last thing, let's see if, see if we can get away from all the crowd, haven't I? Where are they? Yeah, yeah, some up here somewhere. Yeah, on the right there. Around here. Oh, the oh there they are. There, yeah. Right. <clears throat> I'll okay. Find around here. Whoa. So, yeah. So we can now disable crowd. Um, so 
you can end up with uh, as any you take them spectators that are spoiling your shots. We can remove those. Mm -hmm. um, and the same thing uh, for the for the creatures as well. Um, by creatures we mean deers sheep. and sheep. Yes. Um, but, but because um, my immediate assumption <laughs> is like creature effects and things like that, <laughs> which we don't have in this game, obviously. Um, yeah, so, <clears> so <throat> that's, that's all the things we've added. Like I say, I'm, I'm really excited to see what the community mm. comes up with. Um, there's, there's some really cool features that we're already having a lot of fun with um, yes. in the studio. So um, It's yeah. really great. It's really great. Thanks for taking us through that, Matt. No worries. Okay. Okay. Uh, so there's a, a question in the chat about raising the max garage limit. Uh, a fix for that is coming in the new year. We are aware of it. We are working hard on it. It's uh, in test right now because it touches save games and things like that. Uh, we really want to get it right. So uh, as soon as possible in the new year. Uh, I'll tell you what, we, we mentioned the car list, yep. the car pass mm -hmm. earlier. Um, shall I hand over the controller to you, Andy, and you can talk us <laughs> well, through we, the car pass? We can have a flick through, yeah, and, yeah, okay. uh, and chat Let's about some of these cars. All right. OK, right, have we got them all? If I pass you that. Mm -hmm. OK, right, so uh, let's start off with a couple of uh, American Bruises uh, right, coming in Series yes. 4. So these are part of the Series 12 car list, which consists of some car pass cars? Yeah, some car pass cars, some reward cars. Mm -hmm. uh, these two that we've got under uh, Chevrolet are both uh, the car pass cars. Mm -hmm. uh, so first car that we've got is the uh, Corvette ZR1. Uh, this is an absolutely awesome car. I'm going to jump in this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to let Matt just do some a uh, little bit of drifting around. Sure, yeah, why not? Yeah. So uh, this is absolutely savage. It's, uh, it's 750 horsepower, an LT5 supercharged V8 engine. I know that uh, our car handling designer, Chris, mm -hmm. uh, he's, he's gotten quite into his muscle cars over his years here. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's lavished a uh, you know, special bit of attention on these, uh, on sure. these Chevys. Go. Yeah, this okay. is, I mean, this is uh, Chevrolet's, you know, like real uh, supercar, their, uh, you know, most prestige model. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got awesome aero on it. So this has got the uh, ZTK, uh, that, that big carbon fibre spoiler on the back mm -hmm. of it and all the aero additions onto it. Uh, I mean, it's, it is super, super fast. Uh, and doesn't it look awesome as well? So, uh, Amazing. Yeah, I really think... Really fun to drive. There, yeah, people are going to be able to do some awesome stuff with this. It's uh, quite, a, well, quite a contrast, isn't it? The, the bright orange paintwork mm -hmm. uh, in the white of winter. Uh, so that's cool. And uh, you might have noticed the other car in Chevrolet as well was the uh, Camaro uh, ZL1 LE or ZL1, I suppose, depending uh, which side of the Atlantic we're on. Uh, so that is a super, super track focused uh, version of the Camaro. Uh, so that has an LT4 uh, supercharged V8 engine, 650 horsepower. That thing uh, spent a lot of time at the uh, legendary Nürburgring which uh, I would love to do as well, spend a lot of time at the Nürburgring. <laughs> oh, yes. um, when you're not stuck here making great racing games. I know, right, but um, yeah, so that, that laps around faster than a hell of a lot of supercars, um, you know, like uh, faster than 911s. Uh, that is a really, really serious bit of kit, and it is a real enthusiast car as well. There's loads of bits of the suspension that's adjustable, like mm -hmm. the front camber, you can adjust the anti-roll bars. Uh, again, that's got like amazing aero on it with the, uh, the big dive planes and canards on the front and the big spoiler on the back. Uh, so that is a really, really cool car, and I think that's going to be a, a really, really good fun car to drive uh, in the Horizon world. Mm -hmm. Cool. Good little uh, I have, a, I have a question for you uh, from Chad. Uh, okay. Uh, the Blue Anchor asks, where did you get your jumper from? Ah, this is a bit of a, a Christmas vintage one. I've, I've had it so many years, I can't <laughs> actually remember where I bought it from. Right. So very sorry uh, that okay. I can't answer that question accurately. Right. Uh, <laughs> the cupboard you? from uh, a while ago is the answer. <laughs> um, Okay. Uh, okay, so, so right. what else do we have? There we go, so that's two car fast cars done. Yep. I'll not uh, jump into that one because we took photographs of it earlier. Yeah, on. yeah. Uh, so next one along, Citroen DS3 Racing. I like this. This is a bit of uh, a throwback for me for uh, Horizon 1. It's a uh, super cool little nippy front-wheel drive hot hatch. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love it. It's got super little graphics on it that I think are really okay. cool. And the black and orange combo is, uh, is really cool as well. So uh, it's nice to see that back. So uh, I'm not quite sure... Uh, how that's going to be uh, well, that was acquirable. Okay, there um, we go. Yeah, it looks, looks really sporty. I like it. Yeah, it's a cool little car. Right, what have we got next? Um, okay, yeah. Yes. That was cool. um, right, uh, so there's a, something that we just like to touch into really quickly, uh, which is uh, wall riding, obviously. Okay, uh, yeah. And we're working on an update uh, for how we handle uh, wall riding in online games. Uh, and so we will be talking to you more about that as soon as we know something more. It won't be an update five, but soon after that. Yeah, yeah, it's a very, very hot topic upstairs. Yes. Yeah, yes. Uh, with all the level designers and, and you guys as well, especially. Yes. It's something that we really want to address that we feel is, uh, is particularly important. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For, you know, maintaining that fun experience that mm -hmm. everyone wants to have whilst they're playing online. Yes. 
Can okay. I go? Right, car? so I saw the next one along. I'm Ferrari. pretty sure it was the Ferrari, wasn't it? The, uh, the GCC Lusso. Oh, look Amazing. At that. That's awesome, yeah. So this is the replacement for the uh, Ferrari FF they're uh, bringing mm. out. Mm. Uh, so Ferrari's pitch on it, I suppose, is that it's meant to be the Ferrari that you use every day. Uh, <laughs> if there ever there was a Ferrari, you know, to use every day, uh, that'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Yes. It, um, um, so it's an uh, amazing car. It's a V12, so it's got that amazing house of the engine. Mm. Uh, it's four-wheel drive as well, uh, and it's got this amazing layout where it's got some of the transmission in front of the engine, some of it behind. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's actually, bonnet, yeah, yeah, it's got an amazing, uh, amazingly long wheelbase when you look at it. But it's uh, it's a hatchback, so you could chuck all your shopping in the back of it. Uh, right, so it's a it's a practical family car. Yeah, yeah, four proper seats say. in it. Yeah, so theoretically you could use it, you know, every day. But uh, th this is uh, this is a really good car, especially for winter. I think uh, you've got this for our little head-to-head. -head if uh, if we can get if it, we can get it working out yeah. well. So uh, I'm in trouble here. <laughs> but, uh, uh, we have another question from uh, chat. Tom from Norway, which is uh, apparently Tom from Norway. Oh yeah. Uh, Hi, asks uh, when is Fortune Island live? Fortune Island is live tomorrow from uh, 6 p.m. GMT. Uh, tune in because we'll have a launch day live stream uh, from the studio, uh, where we will be playing uh, and showing off all kinds of really fun stuff that's in that. Cool, cool. let's uh, jump on to the, the next car. Yes. Okay, yeah. What else we got? All right, what's the next one? Oh, no, we go back a bit. Oh, we've, got, we've got that yeah, board there. Yeah, missed some really exciting ones, yeah. actually. Uh, so this is uh, Ken Block's uh, RS200s, uh, legendary uh, Group B car there. Uh, Ken Block, a man of awesome tasting cars, you have to say. Uh, it is a very nice car. Yeah, so it's got a, a special place for, well, for me because it's where I, it was developed where I grew up oh, uh, right. in Essex. Okay. Right. And also uh, a special place for Torben, I know, because you spent a lot of time researching it. Yes, for, yes, uh, for British Racing Green. Uh, we actually have the RS1800 and the RS200. So it's a stock R or a semi stock RS200. Yeah. Uh, not this. No, Ken Block's one, very much not stock. This yeah. is a 700 horsepower Look monster. Look at the speed of this. Yeah. Um, I know that uh, the car handling guys have really pushed the uh, limits with uh, what you can tune this up to in the PI. So uh, if you can get your hands on this, uh, see what you can do with it, I suppose. Absolutely. See how much uh, power you can get out of it. The, uh, the livery to note on it is mm -hmm. uh, Ken's little uh, nod towards the factory racing colours that they had. They had that same mm -hmm. uh, design, but with a blue and white colour scheme. Yeah, and it's, it's just absolutely savage. Fantastic car. Update four, which includes uh, Fortune Island. Uh, basically, uh, the format as uh, we've seen it before uh, consists of four seasons with a range of activities across uh, all of the seasons. Uh, as you can see up on the screen, we're, we're basically taking uh, the um, cars and the other updates and slotting them into more places than just the Forts of Just to, Just to recap, uh, this is a series four content that we've been looking at here. Uh, the uh, Fortune Island expansion uh, goes live tomorrow. Uh, the, the actual seasonal content that you've seen here goes live on Thursday on the 20th. Um, remember that after the launch stream that we have tomorrow, uh, the Forza monthly stream over from Turn 10 uh, will be taking over and Mike will be talking about Team Adventure tomorrow. So tune in for that Same and uh, uh, catch up on what he has to say. Where is it? There it is. Yes, and uh, there is the place. So uh, Series 4 uh, is almost here. Uh, Fortune Dude, Island is almost here. And uh, Series 5 no is uh, in general. Lots of stuff. Tonight, tonight.